Today we are at Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore where the sandstone cliffs tower above Lake Superior. And the best way to see Pictured Rocks is undoubtedly by boat, which is what we are about to do. Cliffs here tower between 50 and 200 feet above the lake, and they go on for a stretch of about 15 miles. And the name Pictured Rocks comes from the colors from the minerals that stain the rock face as they go down, providing stunning colors and patterns. So we're really excited to see these because not only are these stunning cliff faces, but there's caves, there's arches. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be windy. Yes. We started our visit to Pictured Rocks by driving the scenic drive along the top of the cliff face and seeing several things that we'll show you now. A great place to start a visit to Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore is at Miner's Castle. Not only is it one of the most famous landmarks along the shoreline, but it's also the only part of the cliff tops that is accessible by vehicle and the views from here are stunning. The lower trail is a little steeper and involves some stairs. Along the way, you'll catch glimpses of more spectacular cliffs and of Miner's Beach down below. The lower viewing platform gets you much closer to Miner's Castle. Our next stop was the log slide. And while that name doesn't sound terribly exciting, this should really be on your list of overlooks to visit here at Pictured Rocks. Originally used as a way to slide lumber down to the lake for shipping, there used to be a 300 foot long chute leading down to the lake. The overlook itself is 175 feet above the water. We arrived at the top of it just in time to watch a family racing up from the bottom. It really illustrated how high and steep this thing really is. One of the things that we have enjoyed the most about our time in Michigan has been these incredibly tall overlooks on the edge of the Great Lakes. This is one of the best. The views are fantastic in every direction and give you just the tiniest hint of how big these lakes really are. Another tall, sandy overlook worth a visit is Grand Sable Dunes. This trail begins one mile west of Grand Marais at the Sable Falls parking area. It's one third of a mile one way and takes you to the top of one of the best examples of perched dunes in the entire world. We made it out to the top just in time for sunset. We are on today is the classic cruise with pictured rocks cruises it is a large tour boat that will take us out and back but that is not <laughs> what we were going to do originally when we came here we had a pontoon boat scheduled and we were going to take it out the entire day just our family and take our time back and forth but but in typical upper peninsula fashion the weather has not really cooperated we've had really high winds and there's been a small craft advisory it's caused all of those tours to be closed and all that money refunded, so we're doing this instead. You wouldn't know it really right now, it's a beautiful day, but it is windy and gusty at times, so I'm curious what it'll be like when we get out to the pictured rocks, but you know, better safe than sorry, especially with me being pregnant. We were totally cool with them making the call to not let us go out, and we'll take it easy and not have to pilot our own boat today, just enjoy the tour.
our tour was with Pictured Rocks Cruises, and whatever method you choose, you absolutely need to get out on the water to really experience Pictured Rocks National Lakeshore. You'll head out past Grand Island and up along those famous cliffs. The tour does a really great job of explaining all of the formations and how spring water seeps through the cliffs, depositing the minerals that give the rock the painted look that they're famous for. Because it is an out and back cruise, you'll get to go past everything twice. So no matter what side of the boat you're sitting on, you will get a chance to get close. Since we left in the morning, everything was actually a little more colorful on the way back with more direct sunlight. We are passing Lover's Leap, which is a beautiful archway. There's a legend, <laughs> apparently, that involves two lovers leaping, but you would not actually want to jump from Lover's Leap because the water underneath is only a few feet deep, approximately three feet, if I'm remembering correctly. Don't do it. just went in Chapel Cove and the water was fairly calm so the captain was able to take us all the way in until we almost touched the other side. That was really neat. Our tour was just supposed to be the classic tour but apparently because we're on the fast ship and we're making good time the captain said he would take us all the way out to Spray Falls. Spray Falls was 70 feet tall and there's actually a shipwreck called the Superior at the base of the falls in 20 feet of water. Very, very neat. Very, very windy. I think we're beginning to understand why there was a small craft advisory and why we couldn't take that pontoon boat out. I think you need to get on the water any way that you can, by kayak, by cruise tour, by pontoon boat. I think the pontoon boat would have been something really unique and special. Yeah. And we would have been able to take our time a little bit more. That felt like a, <laughs> a whirlwind. Yeah, it was a lot. Very, very fast. But yes definitely get out on the water like Christine said. That is the best way to see pictured rocks by far. We enjoyed it so much. Next we're headed on to the Apostle Islands where hopefully we get on another boat and a smaller one this time. <laughs> Let's see. See you then. Bye. Bye.